Okay, so this is the uh, 2011 Student Steel Bridge Competition Manual for uh, Structural Analysis Design and Drawing Production using Bentley products. So this uh, PDF document is uh, distributed with the CD and also it can be found on uh, BE Community's website. Uh, the way this manual has been organized is, you know, we have uh, basically an introduction session section talks about uh, you know the bridge competition in some detail then it talks about uh, the geometry of the bridge this year uh, the problem statement also what uh, type of bridge are we going to create in this tutorial so basically uh, in the figure uh, or in the PDF document figure, we see a 3D geometry of a bridge structure, right? And this is the structure that we're going to create, load, apply support conditions, properties, and analyze and design, okay? And then lastly, we're going to take this to a structural modeler for some, uh, you know, preliminary drawing generation like, uh, you know, uh, floor plan and uh, framing elevations. The next uh, section in this um, PDF document deals with the step-by-step -step tutorial. And what we have done is we have, uh, you know, in total, uh, in section three, we have 13 tutorials. And for each tutorial or exercise, we're going to make a video. So the first uh, exercise is going to be, uh, you know, a step-by-step -step tutorial of generating the bridge overall geometry. Now, what I wanted, uh, want you to do is basically follow through these steps. So I'm just going to go really slow through each of these steps. Um, I expect you to basically follow these steps uh, one by one. When we reach exercise eight, we will actually refer to a data set, okay? So if, if you don't follow, uh, say, you know, exercise one to seven and you reach exercise, exercise number eight and, uh, you know, you basically want to carry on and then try out those steps, you can basically open up this data set, uh, which is my bridge onestd and start working on it. So with that, what I'm going to do is just uh, take this uh, PDF document to the side. First, what I'll do is basically launch uh, the stat pro graphics. OK, now uh, let me open up stat pro. This is uh, the stat pro uh, we had I select series one, uh, which on which we're going to be doing this exercise. So basically what I did was I clicked on start on program stat pro v8i uh, stat pro icon and it'll fire up uh, the stat pro graphics and the first thing that you will see is the you know the task play here what we see is uh, project tasks help topics license configuration make sure that you have the US design code option checked so if you have checked it now uh, to activate that license, uh, you basically have to close Stat Pro and reopen it again. Okay, so again, start all programs, Stat Pro V8. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to cover is the is the unit system. Okay, so if you click on File Menu and if you click on Configure, you should basically see a dialog box that allows you to select the base unit system. Make sure that that base unit system is set to English. Hit accept. And click on file menu, click on new. The new dialog box will open up. And here basically you have to specify what type of structure you want to design. It's going to be a space frame. We're going to give the name of the file and we'll call it in a cage bridge you need to specify the location of the file I'm just going to put in C colon training but if you want you can you can select any directory you want uh, if you click on these three dots it'll basically fire up an explorer type application which allows you to select a folder okay so I'm just going to put it under C colon training, units of foot and kilopound. Click on the next button, click on finish, 
and it opens up the STAD graphics. Since uh, some of you might be looking at the STAD Pro graphics for the first time, let me explain the parts of the STAD graphical user interface. First of all, on the left-hand side of the screen, you see a set, of a set of tabs. Setup, Geometry, General, Analysis, and Design. This is basically called the tab control or control tab, okay? And your aim as an engineer in this in, in the STAD Pro graphics is to basically navigate through each of these tabs one by one, setup, geometry, general, and fill out the information on the right hand side data area. Okay? So basically you see if you click on the setup tab, it'll ask you for engineer's name, project information. If you go to geometry, you can start drawing beams, plates, surfaces. If you go to general, it'll ask you for properties of these, of, of um, your members, specifications, support conditions, loadings, and then analysis and design. So you see there, those are actually laid out in a logical fashion. And just filling out the information going from top to bottom will ensure that you have a complete stat model. Okay. At the top, we have you know, a lot of icons, okay? You can use the menus to do, to use these icons as well, okay? And in the center of your screen is, of course, the graphics window in which you'll see the uh, bridge geometry being created, okay? Now, there are several ways you can create the geometry inside STAD. You can use this grid system to create the geometry as well. What I'm going, going to do is basically, I'm going to launch an application called called Structure Wizard. On page 23 of your manual, step number nine, just click on Geometry Menu. Run Structure Wizard, and basically that'll launch another application inside STAD, uh, which allows you to basically create uh, 3D models based on templates. Okay, so let's click on the Trust models option. Now let's double click on Pratt Trust. I'm on step number 10 and it'll ask you for the dimensions of the truss. Okay, so if I type in 21, uh, that's the length of that truss. The height is let's say 1.67. The width is 5 feet. Number of bays along the length, I'm just going to make it 2. And number of bays along the width, I'm just going to say one bay. If I hit apply, it'll basically create a 3D geometry inside the stat graphics, and you can basically rotate it. You know, if you hold your left mouse button down and uh, move your mouse, it'll actually rotate the whole structure. Okay. You can change anything. Like if you make any mistakes, you can double click and still change things. Okay. If you want, I'm just going to hit cancel there, and then take this geometry and transfer it into STAT Pro. So, uh, so how do you uh, transfer that uh, geometry into STAT Pro? You just follow instructions on page 25, step number 13, click on File menu, Merge Model with STAT Model. And it'll ask you if you want to uh, really transfer this model, and of course I want it, so I'm just going to say yes and it'll ask you for the coordinates of where do you want to place this model. I'm just going to say 000, click on OK, and what it does is it places the geometry from Structure Wizard into STAT Pro. Now, the next thing that I want to do is inward the structure. Okay, so this structure is basically going to be upside down. So Inside STAD, on the left-hand side, there are all these cursors available, right? If you select the first cursor, this is called the Notes cursor. If you hover your mouse on top of these icons, it'll tell you what those icons mean. Let's select the second cursor, which is called the Beams cursor. And what you can do with the Beams cursor is basically select any of those beam elements in the, in the graphics. You can basically draw or rubber band all of these beams. Okay, if you want, and that, or if you wanted to select all beams in one shot, you can press Control A on your keyboard, and that will also do the same thing. Now, 
what I want to do is invert this structure, okay, upside down. So, so there is a command inside stab which is called the mirror command, and it is located inside geometry menu, and it's called mirror. And that instruction is basically given you know, on page 26, step number 19. And what we'll do is we'll input information for the mirror right now. Now, in your manuals, page 27 gives you the inputs for the mirroring. I'm just going to say X, Z plane. Node on the plane, okay, it'll ask you for a node location on the mirror plane. So what you can do is basically select any node point located on, uh, you know, Y is equal to zero plane. And uh, to select that node, you can click on this icon, okay? And just, if you go to the graphics, you can select any node point you want, okay? So I'm just gonna select the point located at zero, 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 and what it does is it transfers information about that node or the node number into my mirroring dialog box, okay? So it basically transfers the node number one, like the no node number into this dialog box and there is two options. There's a move option and there is a copy command, a copy option, okay? I'm just gonna move it actually because I wanna inward the structure. If I click on okay, you see STAD has basically has inverted my, my model, okay? Now, if you don't like the grid being shown in the graphics, you can actually turn that grid off by just clicking on the close button uh, for the snap node beam dialog box, okay, in the data area. So, so now you just see that structure. Now, what we'll do is we'll try to create the vertical supporting members for for the for this bridge, okay, that we've created. So what we'll do is we'll select four node points: one, two, three, and four. And this is on page 28, step number 22 of your manual. And I'm gonna show you a new command, which is called geometry menu translational repeat. This translational repeat command is an advanced copy command, which allows you to copy not only nodes, but also works on beams, plates, solids, or even surfaces, okay? So I'm just gonna say translational repeat what it does is it asks you for the number of steps that you want to do for the for the copy command, okay? Uh, and if you go to page number 29 of your manual, we basically tell you what the inputs are supposed to be, okay? So the default spacing that I'm going to have here is negative uh, you know, 2.6667. I'm going to do these copies along the global y direction. And what I'm also going to say is tell stat is, you know, I don't want to copy just the node points uh, along the y axis, but I want to link those members with intermediate beam members, okay? So you'll see what I mean by that. And if I say link steps and I click on OK, you see stat basically copies those node points along the y axis, okay? And not only does it copy those node points, it basically links those beam mem uh, links those nodes with intermediate beam members, right? So uh, that was the end of the first exercise. The next exercise will basically concentrate on creating the legs structure. Uh, the legs are unfortunately for this bridge that we we're trying to construct are not that simple. So we're going to show you how to create complex leg support structures inside STAT Pro.